What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Also, please do not forget to stop by CMP Kits. Get yourself a copy of the brand new Arrangement Arsenal 6, 10 brand new Studio One templates for Studio One, 4, and 5 to get your arrangements up and coming right now now today i want to talk to you guys about something that i've been seeing coming out um you know in different discussions i'm seeing more and more youtube videos about it and um i just want to i just want to put it in context right so there's been a lot of videos i've seen come out where people are discussing why you don't need to gain stage inside of a DAW because most DAWs have an option or come standard to work at a 32-bit float point, right? And what that means is that if you're working in your DAW in 32-bit, um, you can you can go into the red, and if it if you bounce your track or whatever, it won't digitally clip and cause um, a negative effect to your sound. And that's all fine, and that's all true. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to act like that is the way that people should be using their DAW. The 32-bit float point, it, it exists not as a tool and not as a workflow device. It's a safety measure, right, to be able to, to, be able to work in these spaces and, you know, make a mistake and not have to and not have to you know blow out the doll right if you go and this is crazy i know this is a revolutionary idea right but if you go to your plugins right and you look at the help menu what you're going to find is that your plugins they have manuals i know it's crazy i know I, I know it's crazy right i know this is crazy right so your plugins have manuals and inside of those manuals they tell you the optimum settings on how to use these plugins. I know it's nuts. I know that it is absolutely just completely the most absurd thing to actually buy something and then read the instructions on how to use it. What you're going to find on a lot of your plugins, right? Especially the ones that we like that emulate hardware um, units that we all have them and we all use them right whether it be a shadow hills uh compressor whether it's a ssl g comp whether it's a uh, channel strip we all have these plugins that emulate the analog world and if you actually read the instructions what these plugins will tell you is that they work best right and that they sound best when you're feeding them zero vu signals right or negative 18 DBSF, right? Now if you now if you listen to these if if you listen to these people who are preaching this, you don't have to worry about signal level because we have the the 32 bit safety net and 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 you and you follow that the way that they're presenting it because the problem with the way that they're presenting it is they're basically telling you like you don't have to gain stage that's from the 80s right and then you as a young as a young music maker wanting to you know separate and uh get your own identity which is natural through rebellion this is how we all do it right we rebel against the people who came before us and we get our identity right so you're gonna say like oh we don't have to gain stage like you old people you know okay that's fine but what winds up happening is if you if you don't conform to the requirements inside of the manual of your plugins just because you know you want to be you want to be the new edgy audio, audio engineer what you wind up doing is you wind up introducing Introducing aliasing into your session and when you introduce aliasing into your session you then lose the awesome analog emulation that is coming from this plugin which you spent the 150 bucks on uad.com to be able to have in in the first place right now for me personally you know when when I get this information, I test it. I use my ears. I can hear it. That's fine. I know a lot of you guys are visual people and and maybe want to see more of the science on it. I want you to go to the video that's in my description right now. It's by an awesome um, YouTuber that 
I found out about um, his name is Paul Third, right? And I've been I've been making everybody watch this video because I think it's very important, right? Uh, it's called like it's it's called in the box flatness versus you know analog 3D or something like that. And what he what he details, right? And it, it's such a good video because he shows you know examples of the plugins working. He shows you the actual aliasing so that so that it's not a debate his whole his whole thing is like listen guys you don't need analog equipment to get analog sounds you just have to use analog plugins the correct way and you can get that same sound right so he does he does a b comparisons um so that you can hear it for yourself you don't have to take his word for it but watch that video it's going to back up everything that i'm saying right and the whole point of it is that yes while you can have a 32-bit um sound engine that's not going to cause crazy digital clipping that's not going to give you this adverse sound effect sound that's fine but if you if you use that as a tool to say you know what i'm not going to gain stage and i'm going to go into my plugins at you know like plus db plus 3 dbfs because i can right you're going to be very surprised as to how that philosophy adversely affects what your plugins are doing to your music so even though to sum it all up even though yes you, we have a safety data place and yes if you push your signals into that into that space they're not going to clip and it's not going to cause anything bad while that is true two things can be true the second thing that is true is that if you use that gain structure with analog molded plugins to 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 enhance to enhance your sound and if you want the sound that comes from analog gear which is what all you guys are after nobody's after a cold flat digital mix let's let, let, keep it a thousand nobody's after that we're trying to get what it sounds like outside right so if you want to get that you still need to gain stage this is cmp with craft master productions studio one tutorials.com you guys keep it simple but don't be basic don't be basic don't be basic and run your signals up that high. We'll see you on the next one.